I was a student in 2021-22. Um, that year, 21-22, was, was a huge change, I think. It was one of the biggest years of of change, of disruption, but also of a lot of like student staff solidarity that was really really strong and that really inspired me. I had the idea at the time because of all the, the complex um, issues to create ways that and resources and information that kind of challenges the institutional like lack of clarity and accessibility. Um, on many levels and that gave me the idea for the student handbook which I'm really proud to have done um, by now um, and, and delivered on that. The institution and any institution, it's not just Goldsmiths, will kind of rely on this really quick like change over of students from year to year that really disrupts the idea that there is actually a legacy of student issues and student movement that's passed down kind of organically because these issues have existed historically. It's not that like they specifically had to have a handover moment from year to year for these issues and that spirit of the movement to be passed out. And I'm, I'm really confident that you will be able to pick this up in the future, like five years down the future, that this will still be relevant and that the student movement, which has led and, and contributed to many other movements, will sort of be carried on and, and you get to be a part of that. Well, I only decided to run like two weeks before the, um, the actual election started and uh, I wrote my manifesto I think in two days before it closed. Um, so much of the election process actually motivates you and, and sort of compels you to go and speak to students and really walk up to students and ask them about their experiences and, and how um, your manifesto might be able to, to relate to those experiences and, and to either resolve them or support campaigns. I've met so many students and, and got to know their stories and, and that really helped me get like a nuanced understanding of the student experience and how many many different factors will affect the academic experience and it's not just the academic experience and the academic framework that student support must be built around. It's, it's also a very, there has to be a very necessary nuanced understanding of, of student experience and that process helps you understand that. Then the actual elections week, it, it's literally just a week and it's, it goes by really fast and the entire process like you actually also do get to meet other people who are running. In my first election year it was very difficult because everyone was so good. I <laughs> think there were so many really good campaigns run and we're all still friends now. Really think of this as a chance for you to not only network but also really get into the, the spirit and also the methods and approaches to working in a space that has so much to do with campaigning and it's not just a traditional work environment. So the most important thing is to get started on your manifesto early. My, my recommendation is to not think about the role that you're running for. That's really not the most important thing. Um, to be very honest, like every SAP team, like especially at Goldsmiths, for us, we, we do everything together and also individually. So we, we support each other. The roles don't really change much of this work because you are a team. Start by thinking about your manifesto and like actually what you want to action because your manifesto is going to be what and how students get to know you and, and what you stand for and why they should vote for you. So think about the actions that you want to do, think about it in a very diverse and nuanced perspective and not just serving any one group of students or any one student experience. Make it accessible, think about all students because you, you, are, run, you are serving every, um, the, the, the whole student community. I never really had the time to sort of sit down and think about that. I would say it is in like a word slash two words, chaotic good. <laughs> if that makes sense. It's it's been extremely rewarding. I think coming into Goldsmiths, right, like because of the nature of, of the institution and what we do, like I wanted very much to focus on the ways that like we can change the world. But then within the roles. I learned that every day you get to change one person's world and I think that's the biggest reward that I've gotten out of it. 
So I think no matter where I go, like my biggest takeaway is strategy um, and learning how to be strategic. That takeaway allowed me to, to learn how to be strategic in a way that creates impact and I hope to be able to carry that with me wherever I go. I think, and this might sound harsh, but really consider your motivations for running. If you're looking for just a work experience, then to be very honest, rethink really whether or not the role is for you because it can be very consuming, very intense, and you really need to be ready for that. So many conversations that I've had with, with other officers from other institutions and other parts of the UK, sometimes that's sort of, it's not really what you've expected it to be when, if, if that's the only motivation. So be ready, be prepared, and be be willing to understand the nuances of student experience. For example, if you're a home student, understand how visas work, how the entire systemic issues within the visa process can impact international students' experience. Understand how issues differ like by, by different communities and how they can be exacerbated by different issues. You really need to be ready to listen to that, to do that, and that can be so much to hold on to. Every student who comes to the SU Every case is an urgent case because students would have tried to go to every avenue they can to solve these issues. So every issue will be a really urgent issue in, in their own way. And the severity that that carries and the labour and affective kind of weight that that bears can sometimes be too much if you're not ready for that. So really think about that. And that can sometimes be what builds passion in you. So don't think of that as like a negative process really. Being able to understand that, preempt that, and also dedicate yourself to that within the context of Goldsmiths like, can be very personally rewarding. Definitely be ready for change. Be ready to learn how to look at different issues that are extremely urgent, that can be that can really, really put a lot of students in precarious positions, how to support them and how to campaign against the reasons that those issues exist. That is the generally like literally every survey officer team walks into the role like learning that process. So definitely be ready for that. I always say that being a sub is two things at the same time. One is dealing with the re the urgency of the issues, the emergency, the real kind of likelihood impact, a financial impact, a well-being impact, and at the same time holding space to campaign against the reasons that those issues exist and having to hold both of those at the same time. It's a lot, it's, it's, it can really weigh a lot on you but also it's very powerful and a really good defining moment for upcoming student leaders and organizers and being ready to, to go into that will really, really help yourself in the role, the team and also our members that you'll be, you'll be supporting.